Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to City Skylines. Um, so we're just going to load straight into Westwood. And I have done off line. I, I did record it but I wasn't too happy with it. I mean I just played around with a bunch of stuff and done another little um, sunken highway. Uh, which is different to the normal sunken highway, uh, which you'll see in a second. But, you know, I recorded like three hours worth of stuff and it was just pointless. It, it really was. There was no need for us to show you. Um, but I have got a plan in mind today. So, obviously, I'll give you a quick overview of what I've done offline. So, as you can see, this is the sunken highway. And it runs right along comes up onto this junction and then it goes into the modern sunken highway as you can see where it splits and then that runs right along just up to there for the time being um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to continue the process of doing the sunken highway right across around here um, I've added in this big roundabout uh, coming off the art industry because it needed it. It was getting really, really busy. Um, but everything is working, well, rather tickety-boo at the moment. Um, oh, sorry about that. We're making a decent amount of cash. Everything, well, nothing's really level. I mean, look at the size on that. The drop on that's insane. Um... <clears throat> And I haven't done much else really, just, it was just a lot of faffing and doing little bits of this and little bits of that. But today we are going to be getting in our outside connections for the rail and I'm going to be doing the cargo. So I want a cargo line for the trains, no, for the trains. For the farming and for the ore, we are going to be using this lovely, beautiful, old, industrialised cargo terminal that was already built into the Frozen Shire map, which is absolutely, I think it's amazing. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do it, probably put some offices around it. I do not want to destroy that much if I can help it, because I like the rustic feel of it. And, and that's obviously what I'm sort of wanting to try and do with this area. It, that's why it's so spread out and so open. And I might, depending on how far my money will stretch, start putting some terminal lines in for our citizens. I mean, I haven't even set up any bus networks or anything yet. So there is... There is a fair few things that I obviously need to be catching up on and you know when you, when you just fiddle around with other little things the next thing gets missed but we are sitting at a nice amount of people uh, knocking onto the 15,000 mark so let's just get straight in let's get our rail in uh, I do obviously want it to be cutting through the mountain so obviously I haven't got that square yet and it wasn't one that I was wanting to unlock but let's just have a look I think I do have an area I do so if I did get that one that will be the last of them and then I can come down so that will be six seven eight possibly nine I'm not too sure I do want that outside line, but with only having the one at the moment, I think that might be the better option. We've obviously done the the rail line and getting it right and you know getting it perfect. And there is more ore up there, and there is some farming up there. So, and um, yes, there is actually trees as well. So right, we've got that commitment. That's what it's all about. Commit to the cause. Get another little district of people down here. I'll probably start a forestry industry down there. So let's get on. Let's get in. 
and let's get our rail on the go. Uh, let's get a row built off. Make it a bit more... I think we'll go... Yeah, we'll use... Oh, I'm stuck. I did have a thing that I was going to do it on here, but... I mean, I suppose I could. It would work. So let's come out by 10. Cargo does get really busy as well. I'm hoping that it might not get as busy because... I'm not really wanting to go massive with the farming because I want little farming districts. Come on, there we go. I, I want a few little farming districts, so I don't want it just to be. One area, if that makes sense. So they come down. Come down. Right, this will work. I mean, it'll be. A little short term. Project. Uh, damn. Yeah, so it'll be a little short term project of just getting it. Uh, started and then we'll go from the. Sorry, I, I, I zoned out for a second. <laughs> oh, the rumblings. So, yeah, it will be... Come here. It will be an end line because, obviously, I can't get to that rail connection yet until we get more pedest pedestrians. Well, yeah, they are pedestrians or peasants, as I normally like to call them. So we'll just get the one in for the time being, see how it works out, and then if I can get another one in, we'll get another one in. I don't think it would be big enough for two. So, hmm, let's get it in. Let's not fight it any longer. And there we go, we are committed. I'm going to go underground. I do prefer them underground. But because we are going to be going through the mountains anyhow. It, it just makes more sense. So let's go straight across till there. And then... Get it up. Jesus, no. Why is it doing that? I was half expecting it to just bury under and not wanting to. Is that right? It just looks really weird. Anyhow, let's get it to there, and then we'll start coming up. To there, and there. So then it'll come down here, and connect onto there. This is where I will be putting the, the ore industries line so we'll just pause it for the time being because it is going to take a good chunk of money anyhow it normally does let's get this out let's get our flattening tool go from here that's going to be quite Dig. And then 
Get it back a little bit more and then just smooth it out. So there we have it. Let's get our road in. Pretty much the same as before. Uh, in fact, I think I can lay our railway line down, can I? Oh, you can't. You've got to be actually onto the road, okay. I thought it would connect up to the line, but I guess not. So, let's go there. Let's go there. And then see if it fits. And if it doesn't fit, we'll just do it again. Oh, look at that just off. So we'll go one more down. So there's that. And we want there. Oh, right guys. So... Obviously, um, my last video of the Sunken Highway has been, it's been a little, it's been a little success, so I thank you all for watching it, I really do, um, I often say it's the rumblings of a madman, because, well, yeah, it pretty much is the rumblings of a madman, um, I'm not really mad, I mean, my wife doesn't think I am, oh, she maybe does, she doesn't tell me everything. And it's coming up to Christmas as well, so I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Because we are certainly planning on doing it. And... Yeah, I mean, you got to love it, you know, got two kids and... I don't know if you have children or anything, and honestly, Christmas is... Amazing for them, it really is. I, you know, you, you look back and you think, oh, the years that you have, which were amazing at Christmas time, and I know everybody's situation is different in regards to Christmas, but it's just the smallest, littlest things, you know, just. It's not always about the big fancy presents and stuff like that. It, they are nice and they are lovely, but at the same time, you know, it's your family and seeing your friends and your new prezzies and yeah, it, honestly, I think it's a grand time of year. It, it doesn't matter what, and help, if you can help somebody out in the same time it makes it even all the more worthwhile and I just I just want everybody to have fun that's better nice little curve but hey ho we'll figure it out as we go along but they are in so all being well, it will start producing. We'll get them outside connections working. And yeah, I mean, hopefully it's, it's done, it's up and running. I don't know if it is like, but we'll soon figure it out. Got water. Do you have water? No, you don't even have electricity. Yes, it's already being used. Unless it got lost. Which could be the case.
Yes, it is being used. Fantastic. Um, people are coming out. There is no need for them to really come this way, so... In fairness, it should all work out. And I've just realised I made them cross. I should have had it the other way. They should be coming right across and then down. Let's pause that. Let's change the direction. Da, da, yeah, I just messed everything up. So now I think we're going to be doing our bus lines. Now I've got this little bit in. Um, buses are a big factor for your game. They don't have to be perfect. I was looking forward to doing them, um, and I still am, I still am, but I was going to go into mass in depth, but now I just don't think I am, there we go, let's go around, go down, Around, go down. Yes, now they're not crossing each other's paths. Apart from the old one that's coming up there, but... I'll probably end up putting a roundabout on it if it starts getting really busy, like here. Which I do think has a traffic light on it now. Yes, it does. Let's knock you off. And make you stop and make you stop. Why is there a traffic light there? <laughs> See what it does. Because it is going to get really busy on here. Really busy. So you're coming a mile away. And you need to get it right. And there's our train. That has come from our farming district. And that is up and operational too. Let's see what it's doing. Can you figure it out? Or do we have to click on it? I think we have to click on it. See how busy that gets in a moment. Let's have a look on. Yeah, so yours can stay off. They can stay on. They can stay on for the time being. We'll see how it goes. So I did get a question posed to me earlier on one of the cities groups. Well, it wasn't to me. It was just a general question for everybody. And it was talking about traffic lights. Um, traffic lights within the game are quite... They are good in a sense. They do work. But they don't... As far as I'm concerned, they don't work really well for when things start getting busy i mean in most of your cities you'll have in you know you'll have all this i mean these are set up as traffic lights at the moment so if i pause the game knock it off and the opposite roads i tend to always make them give way so this is your main road you make them one stop and if you just follow that rule all the way down, in sense, 
well not in terms, it actually works. All of your citizens should be able to run free and then as you get them further down where it gets quieter, you don't really need traffic lights, you don't really need things. So I mean the odd stop sign and everything else will pop up. And you just you've gotta look and get in and just double check over everything because when it happens it can be a major pain say I already done this one when I started you know you make your small roads wait you give your big roads the freedom basically to keep the main traffic flowing you'll see most of it will just stop and start you know you've got this one here so not there and it can be trial and error it doesn't always work first time it's not always perfect it's you know you've got to try different things what will work in my city it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work in your city it's just an option for you to try and if it does work then fan dabby dozy and if it doesn't work then try a different thing try something else and until you get it right so we'll press play we'll go back over the hell are they? Are they houses? What's going on here? Where are they? That's an eco mart. Well, looks like a food bank. Oh well, something for everyone. It's an eco mart. It's an eco mart. I've uh, got our little bit of high density housing up here which is green and self-sufficient got normal housing down here we've got a couple of little shops just tucked away that's the org organic corn because that's what everybody wants organic corn the most pointless vegetable in the world uh, and that's it so far so let's get some residents moved in 10 to 13 unhappy people. In fact, no, before I start moving residents in, we are going to have to do this bus because it is desperately needed. So it will be a biofuel depot and then we'll do the actual bus station. I do want it to have an area and I'm thinking, where's it gone? thinking I'm going to use this area right here because I have had that there for a while now and I've been looking at it and I've been thinking am I taking it out, am I leaving it in, what am I doing so we have just got our answer um, they're just normal, yeah we use just normal two way roads I haven't used any tow booths yet, I don't know about you guys I don't particularly use them I mean, they are a good source of income for your city, don't get me wrong. Go. No, we'll just come down and then we'll figure that part out. We'll do the same on this side. Hopefully everything is bloody level. Why aren't you? That's why. Eyeball it. Looks right. Let's come down to there. Let's get them connected up. Get you connected up. Let's not get you connected up. Why aren't you...
Uh, it is what it is. Let's get a roll going across. Perfect. Let's get our bus. Biofuel depot in. So obviously it's an industrial place, so I think. Yeah, let's get it down here. I quite like the idea of it being over here. Get some offices zoned. Just generic. And I think I'll do this little area here, like a park. If I've got flat enough land, because I want to put stuff down. I don't need to be wrong. Like that symbol's down my head in. You know, you don't realise how bad the terrain is on some of these things until you actually dive in, but there is no way on this God's green earth I can fix all of that. It's just not happening. So... Well, I mean, it would if I took thing off, but yeah, no, it's not happening. Right guys, I'm going to have to call it a day today. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but needs must. And uh, we'll catch you again shortly. Ta-ta for now.